Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on equilibrium of rigid bodies. So we have this question and I'm going to try solving it using the principle. So with this, the question is knowing the tension in wire BD to be 1300 Newton and Determine the reaction at the fixed support C of the frame shown. So we knowing the tension in wire BD to be 1300 Newton. That is, this is the tension BD, 1300 Newton. We are supposed to determine the reaction at the fixed support C of the frame shown. So this is the C. As we know, with a fixed support at C, it means that C will have a vertical force and a horizontal force with a movement around it. So this is what we get for C. We get a vertical force, horizontal force, and a movement. So these are what you are looking for. So you should find the vertical force, the horizontal force, the resultant of both forces, and the movement. Let's start. So with this, we need to resolve this in X and Y component. To do that, we need to find the angle. So we need to indicate the Cartesian plane. This is it. So this is the Cartesian plane. So this angle is what you are looking for. So we should find this phi. So this is where, this is the angle we are looking for. And with this angle, how do we solve for this angle? We can use all the ratios, that's the trigonometric ratios that we have. So we are trying to use, since we are finding the angle, we can use this angle is opposite to this and adjacent to this. So we can use tan, that is tan phi is equal to what? The 600 millimeters has been converted into meters, so that's 0 0.60 meters over the 0 0.25 meters. So we need this angle to start with the work. So after doing that, we had the angle to be 67.38 degrees. So that is the angle that we had, 67.38 degrees. So that's the angle we are going to use for what? Solving, that's resolving this force or the tension given to us in X and Y component. Let's start. So with this, when you look at this, the tension is moving on the positive S coordinate and negative y coordinate so let's start with let's label this bx and let's label this by so for us to find bx now bx is 1300 newton cos 67.38 since bs is positive it's go with cos it's positive so there's no way you're going to negate this because it's on the positive side of the x so we will get 1300 newton cos 67.38 that to give us 500 newton. So we know that we resolve this tension in one component, which is the S component, and we had what? This is 500 newton. Let's resolve it in Y component. Since this side is on the negative Y component, we are supposed to we'll get negative 1,300 newton cos 67.38, and that will give you negative 1,199.99. Newton. So after getting the force, now we can try to use the equilibrium rule that is using the principle of equilibrium that we will sum all forces in S component, we equate it to zero, and sum all forces in Y component, we equate it to zero to find the vertical force of C and horizontal force of C, and also find the resultant of C and also the moment. So let, let's start with the sum of forces in S component. So with the sum of forces in the S component, we know this is positive X component. This also is moving on the positive X, and this is moving the negative X. So we are going to get that is CX that you are representing the vertical for uh, the horizontal for that is on the X axis, CX, and it's on the positive X axis. So CX plus 500 Newton, which is moving here, minus 450 Newton because it's moving opposite. When you draw the Cartesian plane, this is moving the opposite of cx therefore to be negative so we'll get cx to be what 
negative 50 newton so we know we now know that the force moving here or the on the s component is negative 50 newton that means that the direction we chose here should move in the otherwise so this 50 newton is the negative 50 newton is telling us where the direction of the force to move so now after we are done with the sum of forces in s component we are moving on to the sum of forces in y component which is we are going to resolve this all these forces the forces you see here that are moving in y component and equate it to zero using the principle of equilibrium so with this you are supposed you get cy cy is positive moving on the positive y axis minus negative 1199.99 newton so you know that this is moving the negative y axis so it will be negative minus 750 newton this force force at a is moving in the negative y component we equate it to zero and we will get c y to be 1950 newton so now we know our c x and our c y we can now find the resultant force and the resultant force is squaring this and squaring this all in the square root bracket so with this that is the sum of forces that's the resultant forces at c to be negative 50 newton squared plus 1950 newton squared and that will give you the resultant force to be 1951 newton so now we've gotten the resultant force of these two components now we are supposed to find the sense or the angle that the resultant force made at c so we are going to find the tan inverse of the y component of c over the s component of c when finding the angle please neglect the negative sign because the negative sign is just showing the direction of the force so the sense will be 88.5 degrees so now let's find since this is a fixed support we have to find the moment and the sum of moment we are creating a moment at c so we are going to create the moment at c so we are finding the sum of moment at c this is it so we are choosing this sign moving at this side to be what our anticlockwise so and in the anticlockwise direction it should be positive that's what i chose so we have this force 450 newton so this is moving in the vertical so the force will move in the anticlockwise to c with a distance of 0 0.4 that is what we had here and we move on to the 750 it's moving here with the principle of transmissibility it can come down therefore to move in the anticlockwise direction that's why we had positive 750 newton times 0 0.5 meters and when we move on to the 120 newton which is sorry this is supposed to be 1200 newton so this is 1200 newton that is this one is supposed to be 1200 newton which is representing the by so since it's in a negative component so when you use principle of transmissibility it's coming down so to move in a clockwise direction which will be negative 1200 newton times 0 0.154 a 15 which is the distance from this distance so it's moving this distance and we we'll go to the the bx which is 500 newton times 0 0.6 meters since it's moving it will be using principle of transmissibility it's moving here so at c it can move this side which is what clockwise to c we have this so now the answer becomes 75 newton meter and it is in the anti-clockwise direction it is in the anti-clockwise direction so here this you need to be 75 newton meters thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe like and comment